guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a first impressions on the Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation. This is what the box looks like and it's super, super gorgeous. Um, and then this is what the actual bottle looks like. Now I have mine in the shade 143. I didn't really have much time to swatch it and test it out and stuff. I kind of just picked up this shade on a whim and hopefully it matches. But seriously, how gorgeous is this bottle? Like it's so luxurious looking. It's super, super heavy as you would expect for the price tag. I paid around 40 or so dollars for it, but I did get the iMats discount. Um, full retail price, it is $62, I think, or $67, something like that. So you would expect it to be very good quality packaging for the price. I'm gonna quickly read you what it says on the back of the box. So it says, no artificial colors, fragrance, petroleum-based mineral oil, paraben, or alcohol. And then it says, sheer luminous finish that diffuses the appearance of pores and imperfections. So I'm not gonna go in with any primer today. All I've done to my skin is moisturized and applied a little bit of eye cream, but that is as far as I've gone with my face today. Um, so I guess we'll just start off with the foundation. It does have a pump, so that is amazing. I am gonna give it a quick shake, and then I'm just gonna start pumping it onto the back of my hand. I do like the color so far, that's good. And then that is one full size pump there, if you can see that. It is very liquidy because you can see it running down my hand. So I'm just gonna use the Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just gonna buff it into my skin. Also, there's no fragrance that I can smell. So I basically used that full pump and this is the coverage that it's currently leaving my skin. Uh, I would personally say this is relatively light coverage. So if you do like a more natural foundation, I think that one layer would be perfect for you. It's very, very thin and it's really only evened out my skin tone. It hasn't really disguised much of my redness at all. Um, so yeah, I don't feel like it does that much on its first layer, but it does give a very, very nice color corrected luminosity to the skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply another pump to my hand and I'm gonna do the other side of my face. If you are curious, I do have more oily combination skin. Um, I do get relatively oily in the T-zone and then the rest of my face is quite normal slash dry. So that's oily combination. At least that's what I think in my head. That's what oily combination means. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. This foundation is really, really easy to blend in though. Like I don't feel like I need to buff it in too much or it's going any going streaky or anything like that so that's really nice and although I've got foundation on my face it doesn't look like an obvious amount of foundation either like it's just very very lightweight it doesn't feel masky and it just it feels really really nice but then again it is very very light coverage remember remember that it's very very light coverage like you can definitely still see my redness you can still see some of my like dark spots and so forth so it is very light coverage so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a second layer just on the places where I want more coverage so I'm just gonna go in with another pump this is like three and a half pumps now because I had that first half pump from before and then the two full pumps so I'm just gonna target it on my redness which is around here it's definitely very very buildable which I do like on the second layer it has definitely masked most of my redness but it hasn't really masked my dark spots. Like for example, I have one here. You can definitely build this to say medium coverage. I love how easy this foundation is to blend. Like seriously, so easy to blend. And it's not like one of those foundations where you need to apply two layers over your whole face so it looks all even. You can really just target the areas that you need more coverage and it still looks very, very seamless the first layer transitioning into the second layer. I do feel like so far my pores are very, very prominent in this foundation, like especially here. Like this part of my face is where I get the most kind of pore, poriness going on. So that's definitely very, very prominent with this foundation. It does give a very, very beautiful glow to the skin. Like you can see that there. It's just very, very beautiful and very, very luminous. It doesn't correct dark spots. So if you do have dark spots, you would need to go in with a concealer and just kind of top it up a little bit. I'm not going to try a third. Let's do it. Let's try a third layer. I wasn't going to, but let's try it. I'm going to target specifically on these dots. I have one here and one here. So I want to see if they cover that. So I'm not gonna go in with a full pump, I'm just gonna go in with like a little drop and I'm just gonna apply it, just patting it to that area. No, that doesn't cover it at all. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see what I'm trying to cover, like I don't know if you can see that, that dark spot there. Let me see if it will cover it up. No. 
So that was a fail. This foundation will really only do two layers that will make a noticeable difference. Three layers, I don't really think it does. Um, don't get me wrong, you can definitely build up the third layer, but I don't feel it feel like it makes that much of a difference. If I was just using this for everyday wear, I'd be happy to just walk out the door, um, finish the rest of my makeup and go out the door. But if you do like a full coverage, you'll definitely need to spot conceal with this foundation. It's currently 10.37, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off my makeup and I will come back. So it's currently 1.15. I have just finished doing my makeup and I did end up setting my makeup just because I did wanna try baking and by the time I dusted away the powder on my face, it basically set half my face anyway, so I just set the rest of it. Um, so far, I do quite like it once the foundation is set with a setting powder. I use the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder, super affordable. You can get it at Priceline for under 10 bucks or 15 bucks, something like that. Super affordable, so I really do like it. And I do feel like the finish of the foundation now is a lot nicer than before when it wasn't set with a powder. So I definitely will continue to set this foundation with a powder because I think it looks a lot better. Um, I also think that my pores are a lot less prominent now after I've set it with a powder. So it might have just been because the foundation was quite luminous before that it was emphasizing the pore area. So definitely put that into consideration as well. Overall, foundation is looking really, really nice and I'm very, very impressed. Um, I do notice that my foundation, um, my bronzer went on a bit streaky here though. So I don't know if it's just because I'm having a bad bronzer day or what's the go. This side it went on okay, but this side it just went on a bit funky. So I don't really know what's to go with that, but I guess I'll just check with you back. Lola, but I guess I'll just check back with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm back with an update. So it is currently 4.35. I think this makeup has been on for a good few hours now. I think around four or five hours, I don't really remember. Um, but I do feel like this foundation is lasting really, really well. Like I'm not excessively shiny by any means. I have produced a little bit of oil, but not enough to be a greaseful. So, so far this foundation gives me two thumbs up, or I give the foundation two thumbs up. Sorry, I'm not making any sense today. Um, let me have a look up close. So looking up close, my pores don't seem very prominent at all. So that's a plus. The foundation, isn't really cracking or flaking off or anything like that so that's really nice and it's not even really sinking into my laugh lines when i smile i do have some laugh lines but they're not sinking into that so that's amazing um so far i am very very impressed so yeah i don't think there's else for me to say so i guess i'll check back with you later tonight okay guys so i'm back for my final update of the night it's super late it's currently 10.50. Um, so this foundation's been on for about maybe 12 hours now and I must say that it has held up quite well. Um, my nose is very shiny now, like if you can see my nose is very very shiny, but that's the only part of my face that is at all oily. I do feel like for the most part this foundation has kept my oils at bay, especially on my forehead. Like. I would personally say that my forehead is still relatively matte. It isn't really letting any shine come through, which is very, very surprising because normally my nose and my forehead are the first places to get oily. Overall, I don't feel like, apart from my nose where it is oily, nowhere else has seemed to fade or anything like that. Sometimes foundation can fade along the jawline for me, but it hasn't with this one, so that's amazing. Um, it hasn't gotten tacky again. I know some foundations, you'll set it with a powder and then sometimes throughout the day, it'll start getting tacky again. This foundation didn't do that. I don't feel like my bronzer faded all that much, at least not any more than what it normally would have. I can see that it is starting to show a little bit of my redness come through if you can see that there um, so it definitely has faded a tiny bit in terms of coverage but overall I'm still very very impressed it hasn't sunken into my fine lines or my pores which is really really nice or at least not emphasize my pores any more than what they already are and yeah overall I'm very very happy it's definitely taken me by surprise and I would love to experiment with different primers and powders with this foundation because I feel like it is a very, very good one and I'll definitely continue to use it in the future. If you are looking to invest in a nice light to medium coverage foundation, definitely check out the Coven Doe foundation, especially if you can get a sample, because in my opinion, it's very, very nice and I'll definitely continue to use it and I can understand why people do rave about it so often. Okay guys, so that's all I really have to say in regards to this foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much and I post videos every single week. Um, don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see from me next. I hope you're having a very wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.